Hello, this is Norwich Up, and welcome to my career mode series. And today, this is episode number five. And if you didn't see yesterday's video, I uploaded a bonus video uh, of this career mode series, so that was episode four yesterday. But today is episode five, and we're checking out the Barclays Premier League top scorers. Dembele is uh, first with seven, Torres is uh, second with fifth, with five even, and. Uh, my player, um, Abonglahor, managed to get the most assists with four yellow and red cards. Now, Yusuf Osingwa has uh, one red card, so nothing too dirty in that section. But we'll go on to my team and the statistics then. Shea Given, five appearances, two clean sheets, not too bad. Uh, Brad Guzon has uh, only played one for him. Abonglahor, six games, one goal, four assists and two clean sheets, not bad. Benteke, two appearances, one goal and one clean sheet as well. Lewandowski, two games, three goals. He's obviously injured at the moment. Wyman, three appearances and two goals, which isn't too bad. And Zombia also played six, got one goal and one assist. And Steven Island has played five or six and got two assists. But we'll go on to the first game now, and it's against uh, West Brom and Jalbium. West Brom are a decent player. They've got Dorans, uh, El Gansi, and Odin Wingy, who've got... Uh, Odin Wingy has got a bit of pace, so he might be quite hard to defend against, but... Uh, West Brom are probably aiming for mid-table. I'm trying to aim for mid-table as well. Our uh, objective is to stay away from relegation, but I think we could probably reach mid-table if I play my best and the team performs well. But we're currently in 8th position and West Brom in 10th. So uh, if West Brom uh, managed to win... But now, guys, it's time for Ben Teke time. The absolute beast gets a goal for us with a lovely finesse shot into the back of the net. You guys said he was a beast, and he is definitely a beast. And a very, very nice goal to get the score. To one nil to me. So, you know, Ben Teke is performing like an absolute god. A bongle hall was kind of stealing it for Aston Villa right at the start until you guys pointed it out in the comments how much of a beast he is. But here, guys, we're going on into the second half. I think we're on about the 75th minute now, and I decide to make a few changes. I bring off Stylian Petrov and Gabby Bongahor and put on Wyman and El Hahamdi. Uh, Wyman's kind of taking the back seat because of uh, Ben Teke and a bongle hall, but we'll put him on for. Uh, what's that about 20 minutes so we'll give him a chance maybe to impress but here in the 90th minute they have a shot she given comes out on top gets the ball and my defender clays and look who's there ben teke he uses his pace he is a, an absolute tank really up front he gets past those defenders takes a right third for next shot and that is in off the post ben teke with two goals he's now got four i think in what three games which is really really good and ben teke is just showing why he should be uh, you know, fighting for his place, why he should be uh, playing instead of Wyman. So yeah, very nice goal for me to make the score 2-0 and that is how it finished at full time. Two goals from Benteke to make uh, us go up hopefully uh, maybe a few places in the table. But Shea Given gets man of the match. Um, Menteke also gets the two goals. Uh, Albrighton and Liachi Lichach, uh, the right back, gets two assists. Passes completed and dribbles completed was all the Stephen Island. And yeah, that is the uh, the match statistics and player ratings. But uh, we're going to the next game and it is against Fulham. And obviously this guy's is on world class, just so you remember. So this is quite tough for me. But Fulham, recent results, they beat Wigan 2-1. Their re the most recent result. They also drew 1-0 with Manchester City, which is a very good game. A very good result for them, even. And their formation, their running is a 4-2-3-1. So I don't really uh, know much about that formation. I haven't used that in Ultimate Team. I normally use the 4 triple 2 in Ultimate Team. But this isn't Ultimate Team. This is career mode. As you can see, we're currently in 7th. And Fulham are one above us in 6th. And we're starting the game uh, with Ben Teke. However, here... Shagan comes out, try and collects the ball, but absolutely wipes out Fulham's attacker. And that is a penalty. And unfortunately, it is a red card as well. Uh, Fulham really should have scored that uh, once Shea Given took the ball, well, missed the ball completely. It was an open goal they missed, but it's a penalty anyway. So let's see if they can capitalise that. As you can see, it was a terrible, terrible play from Shea Given. And it is going to be a penalty. But however, I need to put a sub goalie on. I needed to take off a player. I took off Stephen Island in that central attack mid spot. Uh, so it would be tough for me going uh, outfield. But anyway, let's see what happens here. And he tries to cheeky chip. He tries to Perlo and completely misses the goal. So Brad Guzan, uh, he managed to keep it at a uh, nil-nil. And it's now back into my hands. And Benteke here whips the ball into a Bonglahor. And he managed to get that goal past. Uh, the Fulham keeper in the 20th minute. We've got 10 men, but we're still ahead in this game. A nice goal. And he's going to do the surfing celebration. So, 
you know, uh, we're doing well now, uh, 10 men, no one really thought we'd be able to get a goal, but a swift counter-attack from me, Benteke putting the ball into a bongo hall, and as good strikers do, he's there in the right position, however, Berbatov managed to score just before half-time, which is a real shame, it was a good cross uh, from uh, the midfielder, and it's now 1-0, here in the 87th minute, Diara into Ruiz, and what a goal on the volley from outside the box. When he did that, I was like, no, that's not going to go in, but it did. And it is now 2-1 to Fulham, and that is unfortunately how it ends. Uh, we lose um, again. However, Abongla Hall gets the man of the match rating for me, and that is the end of the game. So, quite disappointed in that game. As you can see, the results. Liverpool win 2-0. Man United win 4-1. Spurs and Chelsea draw 2-0. Swansea and Wigan drew 0-0. West Brom and Manchester City draw 1-0. And West Ham lose to a team that I just couldn't see on the screen. Anyway, Shea Given obviously has to uh, miss a match for one game. Here, we're going to have a look at our contracts. In the press, they said that Stephen Ireland was unsettled in the team. Uh, no one told me in an email or anything like that. So, I decided to give him a... Um, a uh, you know, extension on his contract. He was an important player for me. He still has one, I think he has two years or one year left. I think he probably has one year left actually. So I decided to give him a new contract, give him $40,000 a week. And here we are told that he does not want a new deal. So that means he wants to move, uh, that means he would like to move away from the club, which is quite disappointing. However, that is how the episode is going to end. If you want to see more on this, Stephen Island is going to say, make sure you tune in next Monday. Or if this video can get to eight likes again i'll upload a bonus episode as soon as i can so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time goodbye